getting hungry. Okay. No? Well, uh, it'd be nice oh. if we could find a little stream. <laughs> Come on, Dad, let's have a race. All right. Here well, we go, then. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're so heavy. Him, Dad. Not in bed yet? No, but the others are. Hello, I'm Alan. How do you do? Very well, thank you. Where's my wife? She's doing the drinks. Nice to see you. Excuse me. Just turned off. You saw me talking to her on the walk. I couldn't just say bugger off. How did she find us? What does she want? Well, we're not exactly unknown in the village, are we? Just asked around, I suppose. She won't stay long. Move the ashtray, darling, for Mummy, will you? You did say orange juice, didn't you? Yes. I'm feeding our youngest, so it's the joys of ginger ale for me. At least it makes you bub. Do you live around here? No, I'm with friends. Oh. Down from London? Oh, no, I'm not sitting. Well, quite a warm evening. You've promised to take yourself off to bed, haven't you? Oh, no, not yet. The sun hasn't gone to bed. It's just going to. It told me. Oh, no. Oh, yes. All right. Off you go, then. Quickly. Night-night. Night-night. Is this your first you're expecting? Oh, no. I have others. Not many people seem to want several. It's not always a question of wanting, is it? Oh, I don't know. How's it going? Alan's an illustrator. I prefer working in the winter to the summer. Nothing else to do then. I don't do a thing in the winter. Except go south. Oh. Where do you go? Anywhere warm. Not absolutely everybody can, can they? We have four children. How many have you got? How many? Quite a few. <laughs> really? You don't build enough. I'll just check the others. Well, I must go and tuck in the brood. You'll excuse me, won't you?
quite comfy. I won't be a minute. Sam wants another drink. Christ, what a creature. Where's she going? About Christmas, by the look of it. You'll have to ask her to supper next. You know, it's strange. When I was talking to her out there, I handed her the baby, you know, to hold. It was as if she'd never held a baby before. At any rate, she seemed completely uninterested. Not very normal, surely? Wasn't her kid? Not to a mother. Who the hell is she staying with? She said the cottage behind the White House up there. Didn't know there was one. I'll drive you home. Oh, no, please. I can easily walk. It's not far. The rain has stopped. It's up a damn red hill. Of course I'm mistaken. Oh, yeah, sure. Bye-bye. Did you not have a bag or something? Yes, you mustn't leave anything behind. You wait here while I go and fetch the car. Uh, What's uh, the matter? We must get into the spare room. What? God, it's obvious. Come on, phone for an ambulance. Can you manage? I can manage the carry. He's dead. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, you better fetch Dr. Collins. I suppose I had. What an extraordinary thing. Well, go. Get on with it. Is the baby in a hurry, then? Yes, darling. We don't always wait. I mean, what a lunatic girl. I am sorry, really. Well, natural childbirth. The done thing these days to have them at home. Well, I wish he hadn't chosen my home. The house is full enough already. Well, you can always boot her out in the morning. Some hope. Now push. Push. Now push harder. Keep pushing. Come on. I can see its head. Now push. Come on, harder. Push. Push. It's coming. <laughs> there. It's wonderful. <laughs> seem to need me. Congratulations, Kate. May I have a cigarette? Certainly not. Well, I think we'd better just give you a bit of a check over, see how you are. Absurd. What about the baby? Poor thing. Poor wee thing. Extraordinary, isn't it? Come. 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 Come on. Yes. You hungry thing. Come on. There. Perhaps she's gone for a walk or something. Yes. She can't have disappeared there. altogether. There. You hungry thing. The police around here seem hopeless. I can't believe that nobody saw the girl leave. Even though it was early. Old Tapper saw her. Old Tapper sees everything, whether he sees it or not. <laughs> Can I have a drink, please, Dad? But nobody to remember her taking a taxi or becoming a lift. Doesn't make sense just to disappear like that. 
Well, I'm convinced we'll never see her again. Either way, they're, they're not going to take the child away, are they? Put Bonnie in camp. She's got a mother already. I'm her mother. I just have to be. Maybe that's why nature gave me two breasts and not one. Well, she's Mother Earth, all right. Why? Who'd have thought she was ever a whisky TV girl? We haven't even got a TV. How I'm going to educate them all, I don't know. Oh, we'll manage. You know we will. Provided I don't go out of fashion or something. I'm brilliant this year, but what about next? Who called her Bonnie? I did, because of her bonny blue eyes. I'll drink to that. Well, I must be off. Leave you to feed the masses. Charles, stay for lunch, huh? Why, I can't have break. Well, come next weekend, then. Well, yes, if you twist my arm hard enough. Come on. Good. Good. You better bugger off south, mate. Winter's coming. Surely it must make you feel happier? Oh, it does. It does. And you mustn't be sad. Don't worry. When he's out now, you're her own mother. No one can take her away anymore. I know, I know. I am happy. It's just difficult to forget. I know. But we're all going to be happy again. Everything's fine. We've got our Bonnie. Oh, she's a godsend. <laughs> She's a darling. Dad, I've got three bites in my leg. Oh, oh. Ooh, Dad. Is that for me, darling? You're a good girl. Where did Lucy get to? Oh, she's always coming off. Can I have another banana? No, you've had one already. You have a biscuit if you want. Come on, Freckles, up you get. He's going to be big. Is he? He's going to be tall. He's going to be a midget. Stop, Alan, you'll make him sick. Stop. Help! Help! Oh, my God. Stay here, look after Bonnie. Sam, stay with the others. Alan. Lucy, Help don't me. move. Stay exactly where you are. Uh, Mummy! Lucy, Daddy will get you down. There's a good girl. Now. I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Don't worry, it's all right. Just pull oh. it down. That's it. Oh, no. There's a good oh. 
There's a good girl. There's a good girl. That's my clever girl. All right, we've got her. You, I've got you, darling. It's all right. There. Oh, you silly girl. You are a nut. I got a bit dizzy, and my arm hurt. Oh, come on. We'll go and make it. We'll go and make it better. Silly girl. Well done, you two. Where is Davy and Bonnie? I don't know, Mummy. Davy! Sam, you were with them. No, I left them. Alan. Help your mom pack up. I'll fetch them wherever they are. Davey! Davey!
Jesus. scratches on Bonnie's wrists. Davy was obviously trying to save her. that it goes away to nothing here. It's, uh... It's what? There's not much point in you employing me if you take the originality out of it. How many are there to be in the series? That depends on the success of the first two. If we're satisfied with the ideas, coming to an agreement on the final work. Well, it's rather a new line for me. We, uh, heard about your loss. Mrs. Marlowe's photo. Yes, she was well known. Poor Kate. Bonnie, did you break this? No. Where's Sam? In his tree house. Sam? Hello, me, Tarzan. Perhaps he broke this, yes? What, Mummy? Did you break it, Sam? No, I'm making my house. Luce is at school. It must have been either you or Bonnie. I didn't do it, Mummy. Are you lying to me, Sam? Sam's been behaving so badly these last weeks. Has he? He's jealous of Bonnie. He keeps blaming her for everything. Like what? He says when he's playing, she's always interfering. He says she hurts him. How could she? She's just a shrimp. Sam! How could you? She's just a baby. She hurt me, Bonnie, hurt me. Rubbish. Don't lie. How could she hurt you? She's half your size. She hurt me. She pulled my I don't hair. want to hear any more about it. Look at this. Why did you do it? Bonnie did it. Bonnie? Sam, you're lying. Now go to your room and stay there until you decide to tell the truth. Go on. There, Bonnie. Never mind, you're a brave girl. What's that you've got behind your back? Aren't you going to tell me? All right. Keep your little secret. Come on, it's time to eat.
No, I'm not going to. I'm going to stay here. You're going to stay with me. She you allowed me to climb trees still? <laughs> Come on, Mummy, let's play a game. Oh, oh the game! Come on, then. Come on, all of you. Oh, oh, God, you give us it's us play hide and seek. Right, hide right. and seek. Let's play another game. Don't like hide and seek. Oh, Sam. I want to stay with you. We all have to be separate. I don't want to play. Well, if you want to spoil it. Oh, be it. Me, me. No, not you. You can't count. Daddy, you be it and we'll all hide. OK, off you go. Go on. Off you go. Come on, Bunny! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 and a half, 19 and quarters, 20! Here I come. Look out, I'm over. Very good, well hidden. Oh, I feel so happy suddenly. So happy. Alan, I must get you to the cave. I'll come with you. I want you. Don't be mad. I've got three other children to find. There's your cue. <laughs> Lucy Lockett, I shall find you. Lucy Lockett, I shall find you. The ogre's approaching nearer and nearer. I'm going to have you for supper with brandy sauce and plenty of garlic. And I'll throw the stringy bits to the dogs. Ah! <coughs> you look for Sam, I'll find Bonnie. Where are you? I shall put you in the pot. Bonnie Blue, where are you? <laughs> oh, Bonnie Blue, so true, so true! <laughs> Bonnie's caught! I found Bonnie, now where's Sam? You must help me find him. Yeah. Hey, your blue ribbon's gone. Look for Mummy. Perhaps she's with Sam somewhere. Let's look for them. Okay.
Sam. Sammy, come on, it's time to cut the cake. Sam, Sam, don't hike anymore. Sam, are you up there? Where on earth is he? Must have Sam! Come on, we want to talk to you. Did he have any pocket money? No idea. He may have gone to the shop. He's not allowed to alone. He may have done. I can't find him anywhere. Stay here, all of you. Sam! Sam, are you in here? Think about it, Mummy. Mrs. Webb at school says we'll meet them one day. Now, 
have some milk, please? At least know a thing or two. Don't think they don't. People are smarter than you think. There's a lot of talk, and not without reason. Why don't you own up? How can people write such things? How can they? You've got to snap out of it, Kate. You've just got to. What can I say? How can I help, help you? How the hell do you think I feel? You must go back to work, Kate. You used to enjoy your life in TV and all that. Me work. Don't be funny. I don't want that. I just want my children. I think you should get away. We've talked. In fact, we've talked right round. Kate can't make up her mind. Anyway, I wouldn't be able to work. I can't even work here. Well, sometimes I can. If that's the only thing. If it's money, I could... No, no, I have. Thanks, that's good. But I have enough. Daddy, please come. There's a man at home and Mummy's crying. What man? I don't know. Could you look after him? Yeah. Well, there's no need to get upset. I mean, I'm sure you've got everybody... What's simple. going on? I've asked him to leave three times. My wife has asked you to leave three times. Yeah, well, I've got a duty to my readers. I just want to ask just you... Just bugger off, will you? You can see she's had enough. Well, your wife is a person early once, wasn't she? I mean, I'll people remember that. I'll give you a three. Now, look, see here, Mr. Marlowe. This just... time you went. You can't do that. I could get... Go on, stop! You haven't heard the last of this, I'll tell you. could have gone behind a tree rather than walking off the page there. Perhaps he could have gone there. It'd need to be a little smaller though, wouldn't it? Just go there. <laughs> Lucy, you said you'd help me. I will, Mummy. I will. In a minute. Now, please. Oh, let her be. At least she's happy. 
Anyway, it's Bonnie's bedtime. Come on. Mummy, I don't want to... Stop sleep. whining. Up yes. to bed now. Bonnie seems a bit nervous. She's been fractious for days. Has she? You're out. You haven't noticed. I think I'll sleep in their room. I'll sleep in Bonnie's bed, if you don't mind. As long as she doesn't think it'll always happen? No. Just tonight. It's already becoming a habit. You look lovely in the candlelight. It was tonight. It's been so long. Please wait. Wait, please. Mummy! I'm sorry, Alan. I must go to her. I'm sorry. She can't seem to settle. I said she could stay with us just for a little while. You haven't turned the light out. No, leave it for me. She wants you to herself? No. It's just the Christmas thing. She wants to be near you, too. What's the grin for? I've got something to show you. This way, please, ma'am. Just a minute, Anne. Hurry up. Okay.
In here. Do you remember you said I was to clear the junk room? I know you have a typewriter, but it's for signing the contract. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Alan, how did you do it all? When you weren't looking. But you knew I was up to something, didn't you? Here she is, then, clambering to get in. Oh, I'm so sorry. What time is it? I was working. Oh, it does not matter a little bit. Mummy, my head hurts. I'm a little bit fractious today. I think she's sickening for something. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Mrs. T. You are good. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow, Lovely. Then. All right. Bye-bye, uh, Polly. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Come and have a little sleep. Sit down. Let me see you. She keeps asking for you, you know. I keep telling her mumps can be very bad for a grown-up man. She can't fathom why I can see her and you can't. She's too young to understand what sterility is, surely. You told me not to underestimate her intelligence. Yes, I did. Well. Go back to sleep, why not? I was hoping you'd say that. What about the shopping? It's Sunday. Thank God. She does miss you all the same.
Yes. Yes, I can't hear you very well. Lie on your back. Can you hear me now? Yes, quite clearly. You may have a little deafness in one ear. Quite common. It should improve. Still got a lot of pain down below. Oh, no doubt that'll improve as well. No doubt. Thank you, Doctor. When will you be back? Oh, that won't be necessary. He's on the men now. an accident, Lucy. Bonnie was only playing. I shouldn't have been asleep. I'm dreadfully sorry. We'll go home now. Time to go home. I saw it happen, Kate. I really did. She took that heavy swing and deliberately flung it at Lucy. You're mad. You couldn't have seen it. You said you were half asleep. She's not a normal child. I've long suspected it. I know it now. She's more intelligent. More advanced, if that's what you mean. I saw it. It couldn't have been on purpose. It was. Nobody does a thing like that for fun. She loves Lucy. Yes, the way she loved our three sons. What? Oh, Kate. Those marks on Bonnie's wrists. Yes, Davy made them all right, but not when he was trying to rescue her. He was trying to save himself. And Sam, how could he have fallen like that? Crusty was as agile as a monkey. She saw him go through the hedge and followed him. She climbed up into the hay after him and pushed him off the top. She killed him. She was physically too small. Then how did that blue ribbon get there? How did it get there? At four. She was four. Look, Kate. Do you remember how Sam always wanted to stay with us whenever Bonnie was around? He was afraid of her. That's why. 
You're making her out to be a monster. You've only got to For look Christ at her. For Christ's sake, Lucy was nearly killed today and Bonnie did it. It doesn't happen in real life. Not to people, not to real people. Do you know what a cuckoo does? It lays its egg in another bird's nest. And do you know what the fledgling does? It pushes the others out, one after the other, until it has the complete attention of the parents. That's Bonnie for you. Bonnie must go. Go. Go! She's our daughter! She is not. Now God knows whose daughter she is, but she isn't ours. Mummy, don't let Daddy send me away. Please don't. Jenny, bon for thee, bon for thee. Who's going to come? Lucy, your response has come to collect her. Um, Lucy, your father's here, and you'll have permission to go. Thank you. Lucy, it's all right. Is it by the sea? Of course. Where else would you spend a special holiday? What dress is it? It's sort of flowery. And new. It's got a collar. Of course it's got a collar. Kind of lazy. When is Mummy coming down? Well, she has some work to finish, then she's coming. With Bonnie? Don't you like Bonnie? Of course I do. It's funny how she doesn't like her doll you bought her. Funny kid sometimes. She never plays with it. And she won't let me either. Darling, I have to go to London to see Mummy. Is she coming down soon? I hope so. I shall come back with you. Can I come too? There's no point in that long, dreary drive just for the day. I've arranged for Mrs. Haywood to look after you. As soon as it starts raining, she's going to take you down to the pier. All right. Thank you, Daddy. Good girl. that a secret. She's with the landlady. She's perfectly all right. I promise to get back before dark. A child with a complete stranger. You've got to bring her back. Only when you agree that Bonnie must go. My God, what are you doing to Lucy? Never mind me. We've got to get rid of her. There are ways to make you bring her back. I've already talked to somebody. Don't think I haven't. I've told you the terms. Choose Bonnie or Lucy. Which is it to be? I won't choose! Don't dictate! They're my children! For Christ's sake, you're risking Lucy's life. She'll be dead like the others. Dead! dead. You can't hate me so much. I love you, Katie. I need you. Look, I want you to phone the authorities. It must come from you. You take me out of my mind. Put out my own child. Well, they must be persuaded. You must tell them everything. Matthew, Sam, Davy. Oh, stop, please. I can't bear any more. Please, Alice. Please, Alice. Please, Alice. Please, Alice. Please. I'll have to go. I'll phone you tomorrow. Alan, what's your phone number?
Mummy's in hospital. What? Where? There. It says she's had an accident. Put a microphone there. Naturally, she is depressed. Still some pain, too. How many days do you think? Three or four. She looks dreadful. Not surprisingly. There's no reason why she shouldn't try again, you know. What? Didn't she tell you? She lost the baby. Uh, no, she didn't. She looks... Really, she didn't tell me. Put it down and put the kettle. Sorry. Kate was too shaken to tell me what happened. That's all right. Time for breakfast anyway. Bonnie with Mrs. Tavener, is she? Yeah. My wife took her down to her daughter's. Bournemouth. It's damn good of you both. I'm afraid I must seem rather rare than me. Can't stand their daughter, to be honest. Can't stand Bournemouth either. I've just been away. I... How is she? Well, recovering. Wanting to thank you. Me? I haven't done anything. How exactly did it happen? Kate wasn't talking very much. Well, she tripped, didn't she? At the top. On her kid's toy. Very unlike her. I think the wife said it was a doll. Hideous things, plastic eyes. Did Bonnie know her mother was pregnant? Huh? Why should I know? Uh, no. A doll. Uh, what's it like working nights? Hell. Sheer hell. <laughs> but I like it. Quieter. <laughs> Can't you wait till Friday? She's quite happy. No, I'd like to come this afternoon. The sun's actually shining. But if you don't mind, please don't ring Kate. I'd like to make it a surprise.
know, don't you, Bonnie? Know what? I know you. You won't get Lucy. That you won't do. No, I know, don't you, Bonnie? She won't believe it, you see. She just won't believe it. I don't believe it either. Well, how could you know? You don't live with us. I know from experience. What, of psychiatry? Of the mind? Did you study psychiatry? Look, sooner or later, a doctor sees most things. If he's intelligent, he applies his knowledge to life as it is. Feet firmly on the ground. Just so. You're a man of imagination. Naturally. So was Einstein. Was he mad? Have I suggested it? Well, talk for his intentions. It's grief. It but stop it, will you? I don't think I want to talk to you about it. Look, it's very good of you, but I didn't ask you to come here. Well, you'll just have to forgive that. I miss you both. The village doesn't seem the same without you. Thanks. I'm sorry, I have to speak to Ella. Very well. No, I preferred if you'd stay. If I can help. I want a divorce. I don't want to live with you. Pack your things and find someone else. What is this? A certain Mrs. Warner came to see me. I don't know a Mrs. Warner. Surprising, since you went to see her. She's a social worker from the adoption people. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten the name. You asked them to take Bonnie away from me. God knows how you thought you'd succeed, but you asked. When you took me home from the hospital, you were so kind, so considerate. Behind my back, you... How could anyone do that? He must answer that, mustn't he? For Christ's sake, you know why I... I know you think you... I listen! You're going to listen. I won't stand by and let that little monster destroy everything. You're blinded by your maternal feelings. And nobody can blame you for that. But don't you realize that on top of everything else, she deliberately caused your miscarriage? Bonnie deliberately left that damn doll on the top step, hoping you'd take a fall. That's impossible. She was just playing with the doll. She never played with it. You know that. Even Lucy knows it. Bonnie's too young to work out a thing like that. Never heard of a child who can play the violin at the age of five, or beat a chess champion, or find the square root of a six-digit number in his head. Well, that's Bonnie. There's nothing she doesn't understand. She knew she could get rid of your child. Such a terrible thing couldn't be possible. Yes, it is possible. But how? Don't ask me, but it is. But if she knew that, she knew that I could get pregnant again. Yes, she did. That's why I'm sterile. What? Yes, sterile. After my illness, I had all the necessary tests. You'll never get another child from me. Oh, God, help us. Help us. I'm going to walk a bit. I've got to rethink this. Of course, I'll try to help. I'll stay in London. I'll be here. Believe me now. I still can't. You should have seen her while you were away. You never saw a more affectionate child. 
Yes. Because I was away and Lucy was away. That's just it. But you should have seen them today. How happy they were to see each other. Well, Bonnie's back. Yes, Mrs. Tavern. But she wasn't due back they until... They early because of the rain. Where are they now? At home, of course. You left them alone together? Yes. Kate, fool! What's wrong with you? Christ! No! Out, Bonnie. Leave my children alone! Get out of this stupid woman! Lucy, I'll tell you what to do. Leave the apartment at once. Go and ring Mrs. Tavener's bell. I can't. The front door's locked. The big lock, not the other one. Did you lock them in? What? Did you lock them in? Oh, God, no! The key's on the shelf by the clock. You know, at the back, by that pot. Go and get it. Unlock the door and let yourself out. Go over to the taverners. All right. And Lucy, don't hang up. Just go. The key's not there. Are you sure? Yes. Come home, Daddy, please. Listen, Lucy. Bonnie's staring at me. Now listen, there's a key to our bedroom at the back of the door. Go upstairs and lock yourself in there until... Bloody hell, her mother did that. You've got to go. I'll stay here or come now fast. I don't give a damn. All I care about is Lucy. I'm betting you haven't eaten anything. Yes, well, I don't feel much like eating. Sleeping on the studio floor doesn't help. Change your mind, man. Go back to her. She still needs you. No, she doesn't. 
She said so. Oh, what she says, what she means. And... Look, it's her. Now perhaps you believe me. It's going to happen again. I've got to stop her. 